Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, we were on our way to uh, stop Billy, if I'm uh, not mistaken. I now actually understand why there's always so much blood everywhere. It's because Wall Rider, of course, gets inside you and, and explodes you from the inside. It's basically what the note said, wasn't it? Hmm. Uh, I did not go in here yet, I think. No. Yeah. Wow. Ugh. That guy got, got punished good. One thing that I think is funny is because uh, they said that some of the biggest people in the industry worked on this, and I thought at first that there were maybe people in the horror industry, but all of the guys don't have experience with horror games. Like, there are guys from Pins of Persia, Splinter Cell, Army of Two. Those are the guys that worked on this. I actually don't know if I should film this, I completely forgot. Yeah. I guess that's where we're going. The chambers, right? The engine. I have a feeling I already went in here. Billy, it kind of give me that give, gives me an. Oh shit! I think I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. Well, still, I could. I don't. I don't think Wall Riders all that scary. They could have made him scarier. I'm back here, Jesus. And I'm still disappointed that there's no females. They could have really done some scary stuff with females. Where, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? I don't know where to go! Oh, he of course doesn't give a fuck about a door! Come on! He can go through that! Or not. Alright. Fine by me. What is that? What do I hear? There, there, there's so much blood in this in this last part that I'm not even shocked anymore by the by the amount of blood. If this was like the first five minutes of the game, I would be like, "Oh, I'm out." But now it's kind of normal, I guess. No to all personnel from consults and uh, uh, root of Wernicke. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Hello? 
turn off the valve for the life support. Okay. Whoa, wait, what? You must be Billy, huh? Jesus, fuck. It is some elven beat shit, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go crazy too if that's, that's the only thing that was on TV. Oh, who are you? Who the fuck? Let's see, turn up the valve for the life support. Or is it this one? This one's all bloody. No, this one's dead, I guess. Let's see, I came from there, yeah. Uh, okay. So this is a way to go. I better get my camera out, actually. See if, uh... He's under. This is Billy's hope, hope's lungs. His liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all. Break it all! He has to die. I guess the music also will be cute when Wall Rider will come, but seeing is believing, I guess. Uh, Dr. Ranica, Frankenstein or the Modern Pro I, I read this already. Oh no, wait. Learn from me, if not my, my, by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Okay. It's pretty funny that there are no more batteries because it's all lit up. Somebody's gonna be pissed off. You're not that scary, to be honest! Wait a minute, is he still coming? Generator. That's what I need to do, right? Electric supply. Yeah. I guess he's still coming. Interesting. hear him. Whoa, how far do we have to go? What the fuck? Don't tell me I'm going insane. No, we're actually going somewhere. <gasps> okay. I learned my lesson before. Oh, hi there. Fuck me. Okay. Yeah, that's right. For some reason, you cannot go through here. I don't know why myself, too, but... Oh.
okay. Time to get the fuck out of here. We have to get, go down that long stairs again. The dude will come again. But I'm ready for you, Vol Rider. Bring it, boy! Oh shit. Not scary. <laughs> Not scary at all. Where do I do that though? Do I do that here? You would think it's here. From Billy's page reports, you ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough role playing scratch deep. Killing you would be in kind of an act of kindness. Yeah, sure, kill me, whatever the fuck. Okay. So where's this fail safe of his? Has to be some Oh, random battery. Okay. Like, I cannot go back. It has to be this. Yeah, okay. I mean, all of these these button thingies are, are off. This one is the only that's on. Like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm pressing that mouse button. Wah! Do I go back here? Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, I already turned the valve, right? That's not an option. Some yellow shit, no. Okay. Maybe the ghost needs to deck him or something? I don't know. I can't go back, I don't know.
this where is this fail safe? This is starting to get a very annoying actually. Am I supposed to do something here? No, now I'm going back up. Ah! Yeah, no, this doesn't make sense. What I'm doing now. Safe. I mean, it's the last resort. I get that. But what I do? What the hell? Why do I have so much trouble with it, with these simple things in this game? First the fucking laundry. Now this. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm getting frustrated here. This is not doing the game good for me. We're not doing anything good for the game for me. I mean, push button! I push everything! Push button! Oh, here! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like I said, I don't know why I have so much trouble with, with these simple tasks. <laughs> I don't know. Get out, okay. Oh shit. Well, that's how I walk now. Do I get out where that dude was? Or is that still closed? Still closed, I guess. So wait, is Wall Rider now in me or did he disappear? I don't know. Come on! Walk, dude. <sighs> uh. 
There's the door. Come on. Oh, yeah, of course not. See, I still hear Wall Rider. Hi. Really? I thought so. Well, guys, that was it. Um, I love the game. Um, not without its faults, though. It's not going to be the perfect horror game. Um, a thing I... I mean, if I had some critique, the foremost... And hold on, can I... Oh, I can just skip it, okay. <laughs> well, uh, I hope there wasn't anything there. Um... Though you can already see the credit credits or whatever. Uh, one thing, if I had critique, was that the thing with like search for the fuses, search for the valves, was too uh, was was too often used. Uh, if I believe it's used, it was used four times. The first time we had to find the two valves, then you had to find um, uh, another two valves to drain the water. Then you had the, the three fuses. Uh, and another like the valves for or the switches for the sprinklers and Every time you you saw that that uh, Objective you knew that you were going to be chased by a monster and the only way they could have kind of made that interesting If they introduced a new monster or something every time but very different from one another But instead I got the fat guy all the time or just a regular guy with like a machete or something and it wasn't very scary I mean after the doctor there weren't really any big scares left. I mean, the, the Doctor was the highlight of the game, Dr. Traeger, and after that, it went a little bit downhill in, in, in terms of the scares. When I went first outside and I heard all that freaky noises, that was still kind of scary, but like I said, Wall Rider didn't scare me at all. Um, it's a shame that they didn't use females. They could have done some real, real, real creepy things with, uh, with females, just some wrinkly skinny hair fucked up screaming you know distance blah blah just crazy woman so that's kind of a shame ending meh didn't do it it'll do didn't do much for me um so yeah i would say the first three hours of this game and i did take a, a, a bit longer than i guess most people did because i got stuck at the laundry and at, at this last point i guess but the first half up until Dr. Traeger is sublime, perfect, beautiful. Then after that, um, I yeah, it was still fun. I wanted to know what was going on there, but it didn't hold me or it didn't interest me as much as the first half did. So, yeah, that that's about it. But I'm very happy that I played. I'm very happy that I bought it. You know, money well spent in my opinion. I had some of the some of the best scares. Some of the, you know, I had a great time doing this. It was very refreshing. And um, in two days, already Amnesia Machine for Pigs, I gotta upload a huge amount of content still before that comes out. I still have to do White Knight, which I'm actually maybe going to do right now because this was, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes that I played today, so I, I can still go for another horror game. But uh, thank you guys for watching, it was great, and I will see you guys next time. Maybe with Amnesia Machine for Pigs? See you then!